Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. And today's video is going to be all about makeovers. I feel like I'm always complaining about how randomly generated townies always look ridiculous in my game. And today, I'm actually gonna do something about it. I got my Sim here, her name is Norma. She's about to buy a retail store. It is basically just a salon that I got off the gallery, but I've put a few styling stations or not styling stations, the wardrobe thingies that came with Get Famous. I've put them down and I have a goal in mind. I want to try and attract some ridiculous looking generated townies so that I can give them a makeover and have sims that actually make sense in the way that they look. Because I don't know about you, but I often find whenever I make one sim or a household and move them in, if ever I want them to make friends with somebody Usually I'll have to go into create a sim and then create a friend for them and move them in or just use a sim that I've already made. Because when you go out and about and you just go exploring bars and restaurants and stuff, other than the actual townies that come with the game, you know, like the pancakes or the goths, a lot of the randomly generated ones just look ridiculous. They have all sorts of stupid accessories going on. They're kind of, you know, wasting space. I'm never going to interact with them. So I've chosen a save file that I've had for a really long time because I imagine there'll be quite a lot of townies living here. Randomly generated one. I mean, look at that one right there. Proven my point there, Alison Munch. Proven my point. Totally over accessorized. This isn't, I mean, this isn't one of the worst ones I've seen, to be fair. She doesn't have any ridiculous accessories, but I think I saw an eyeball ring there. So I'm hoping using an old save file will mean that there'll be plenty of people for me to choose from so I can give out some makeovers and then actually enjoy playing in this save file and going around making friends. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a retail store. I should have introduced myself to Alison, to be fair I could have invited her over. In fact there she is, I might just queue up. Friendly interaction, friendly introduction. We are in Magnolia Promenade. Okay, hair and nail salon. I'm going to introduce myself to you so I can invite you over, Alison. It's a bit late, though, to be opening a makeover salon, so I might just go to bed and wait until the morning, and then we'll wake up fresh, ready to make over loads of randomly generated townies. And hopefully, that'll mean I'll have a few more options in this save file when it comes to making friends or perhaps love interests. All right, you just sleep tight, Norma. You just sleep tight. Okay, it's 7 a.m., Norma. It's time to go change some lives. Okay, let's open up. We don't need any staff. It says no items for sale. Um, you know what? I might just, I might list a couple of items just for the sake of having customers come in. Just sell some of this nail varnish. There we go. That will at least attract the customers so that I can start offering some makeovers. No one here yet. In fact, no one else in sight, but I'm sure if we're just patient, I know it's Thanksgiving, so people are probably spending time with their families, but I'm sure if we're patient, the people will flock. I mean, I know that they need makeovers. There's a sim here, so it looks like a service sim. Unless that's just what he wears every day, in which case he probably does need a makeover. Who's this guy? Okay, he's actually styled okay. I don't think he needs my help. I see there are some customers approaching. Who is the one in most need? Well, maybe this one? Why you would wear dark green pants with uh, red and black is beyond me, Erica. Sounds like you need some help. Oh wait, I think maybe we found a better candidate. We've got a guy here dressed like Vlad. Okay, Edward White. Offer to update appearance. Edward White. I think we've already insulted his style because we've got a red bar there. This is for your own good, Edward, okay? I'm sure you've got a beautiful face underneath all that. We just need to help you shine. I want to turn these notties into hotties. I think Edward just keeps turning me down for offer to update appearance. I'm going to try Erica now. If he says no one more time, this is not your choice, Edward. This is my game. I paid for it, not you. You don't get to say no. Oh, okay, I think we've got our first makeover of the day. Oh, you're going to look beautiful, Erica. Trust me. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. What we're working with. A new hairstyle, definitely. I think we're going to try and amp up this one's sex appeal. Is something like this, possibly? That could work. What about that? Just something simple. Obviously, we've got to get some lashes on you. Oh, actually, maybe we'll give you a little bit of colour and obviously some lashes. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm only doing her outerwear right now, so I'm going to also do her 
every day as well. Okay, we'll get a little bit of makeup on you, I think. That's nice. Maybe some lipstick. Nothing too harsh, I don't think. Maybe just something kind of subtle. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do her in blue and pink. Quite like brightly coloured Sims. And I want this Sim to be able to stand out if ever I bump into her in a bar or anything. This is kind of a cute top, I've always liked this top. And then let's see what kind of trousers we have. I'm thinking definitely trousers. I mean, to be honest, I'd probably go with these if they didn't have the hearts on them. Could go for shorts, although I'm not too sure about that colour. Okay, I think this is an outfit I'm happy with. Just put some trainers on, maybe get them nails done. A little bubblegum pink. Necklace for good measure. And then seeing as you were already wearing your outerwear, I'll quickly do your outerwear too. We're just gonna do something really simple. There we go, that will do. Beautiful. You've had a makeover, congratulations. Now I just have to convince pink hair to go along with it. Okay, who else desperately needs a makeover? Oh, she looks great. She looks like one of my sims. Okay, Edward, stop being an asshole and just say yes when I offer you a makeover, okay? I know you think you're cool, but you look ridiculous. Trust me, you look ridiculous. Oh, I think he said yes. Perfect, finally. Don't you worry, Eric, we're gonna turn you into a heartthrob. Was it Eric? Edward. Okay, what do you look like if you had a shave? Mm, got quite a dimply chin, I see. Okay, maybe we will have some facial hair. Should we go something a little bit more natural? What about just a bit of stubble? Something like that? You look better already, Edward. You do have some bags under your eyes, though. I'm wondering whether some glasses might fix that. Yeah, I think... I think the glasses helps. Makes it look less like you've stayed up all night in the crack house. You've got quite a muscular physique here, Edward. I think we should try and show it off. So I'm gonna get something for you that's quite tight-fitting, I think. Accentuate those ripples. Well, I'm not sure if this is the one, but I definitely want a tight-fitted shirt. Or even, you know what, something like that. Just a basic pair of jeans. I never really know how to style men in The Sims 4. I don't really play as them very often. But I do take much less time on them because they don't really have much to choose from. But you look a lot more together now, Edward. You look like someone your mother would be proud of. Not like a creepy night stalker. Now let's find you a nice turtleneck jumper, shall we? Okay, perfect. And then that can be your outerwear. Maybe a hat? Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to think you don't have a head for hats, Edward. Okay, I think we're going to scrap the hat. You're not really a hat guy. Just ends up making you look a bit like a potato. But um, yeah, there you go. There's your makeover. Now you look more like you've been to school. Congratulations, man. Congrats. Um, what is going on? Do you guys also need a naughty to hotty makeover? No, no, we'll stick to who's in the store. Oh, wait, who else do we have around here? I've got a couple of Sims who actually want to check out. I mean, I guess I could ring them up quickly in between makeovers. I'm, I don't want to get bad stars. Offer to update appearance, Duncan Pringle. Could also give this elder Sim a makeover as well, give her more of a classy look. I'm thinking like a Marilyn Monroe type of vibe. Oh, I think she said yes. I'm guessing that this Sim here, Dun I think Duncan Pringle said no. Oh, I think, yeah, we have our third. Our third sure. naughty. I mean, to be honest, he's he's not too bad. He doesn't really need much doing to him. He doesn't look ridiculous or anything. I think we'll just keep it very subtle for him. Okay, I'm thinking... Can we wax those eyebrows a little bit? There we go. Maybe some darker hair? I actually quite like that hairstyle, but I want to change this little bum fluff you've got on your face here. Oh, this could work. Yeah, gives you a stronger jawline, I feel. Duncan. Okay, so I don't think there's really much to change about you. I just want to give you a bit more colour. You're looking a little bit too depressing. We've got to get some more colour in your wardrobe, I think. Let's start with your everyday, because this is your everyday wear, and it's, it's clash galore. I don't know what you were thinking when you put these pieces together, but it's okay. You don't need to worry. You're in the right hands now. So I think he would look good in something that's a bit more, like, loungy, a little bit more bulky. Maybe this top. I never know what to put on bottoms for guys. I always just end up giving them jeans. I feel like jeans just always look best. I mean, it's still a thousand times better than the mismatched monstrosity you were wearing as a daily outfit. And then maybe this can be your outerwear. Maybe actually a little bit 
a little bit more color something like that there we go perfect congratulations okay anyone else anyone else in need of a makeover I don't need to do um, Ellen I don't need to do Eleanor because she's still kind of new because she's kind of styled up what about this child Essie we could do a child I think this is actually one of my sims but she was made with custom content so I think she's missing a few things oh I think my two makeover sims are like hitting it off with each other what if I close and send everybody home and then reopen again then maybe I might get some new customers I don't think I will I think I'll get the same the same same old gang but we'll try it Kaori doesn't need a makeover because she's a pre-made townie okay let's open up again and see who we get hopefully someone that got dressed in the dark what about this guy he's wearing an eyeball ring howdy introduction oh we have an elder sim oh there's loads of townies appearing on here and a lot of them look randomly generated Let's do um, Kaylee Wildsmith. Lots of sims with no hair. Oh, there's another sim over here, Juno Jones, who looks like she desperately needs a makeover. Okay, you know what? I am going to do introduction to you. Introduction to you. I'm going to add you both to a group. We're going to go to the salon, and whether you like it or not, you are both getting makeovers. Look at the state of the people here, man. Dressed in the dark. Okay, form group, you two. Okay, follow me. We're going into the salon. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to have the problem of not having enough customers to make over. Okay, let's offer this one a makeover. Hopefully she sees sense and says yes. All right, girl, get on the podium. Don't worry, we will fix you. Okay, so I'm assuming this is your outer wear, yes. And what about your everyday wear? Okay, yeah, flip-flops and, and that dress. I don't know what you were thinking, but I mean, we'll work with it. You know, we don't turn any customers away. We're here to help. So let's start with a nice hairstyle. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. We can work with that. Maybe we could um, put some toner in there, lighten the hair a little bit. Yeah, that's a good colour. Change your eyebrows. Just maybe give them a bit more shape. There we go. Definitely going to need some lashes. Urgently. Stick some lashes on. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to do some neutral makeup. Nothing too crazy. And then maybe some blush tone down the blush a little bit maybe just a little bit of lip gloss okay oh wow you are jacked you've been spending a lot of time at the gym okay I think this would actually be quite a good outerwear outfit so I'm gonna put you in this for now I wonder if I have like a little off-the-shoulder dress because I feel like that would really suit this sim or maybe an off-the-shoulder top hmm I went for a jumper in the end, but I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to settle on. I wish there was a way you could filter it to, like, skirts. You know? I'm kind of stumped on this one. I'm not too sure how to style her. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Oh, maybe I'll give her a necklace. There we go. Beautiful. And then for your outerwear, I will just finish. I was just going to do some tights and some boots. And there you go. Outerwear too. Congratulations, you've just been made over. Okay, perfect. And there is one other sim who's like half dressed here. What's Juno Jones? There we go. She might be one of mine, I don't remember. But I mean, she desperately needs a makeover. Look at that. She's wearing rings over gloves. She's walking around in a bra. I mean, Christ alive, Juno. Get your eyes checked. You're wearing the wrong prescription, babe. Okay, so let's start with your everyday. Okay, your everyday is fine, so you must be one of mine. So in that case, for you, we are just going to work on your winter clothing. So first things first, we've got to get some lashes on you, girl. A little bit of lipstick. Okay, perfect, perfect. We could take those accessories off. So what outerwear tops do we have? I'm pretty sure this one's a student, so she's kind of, like, preppy. So I want her to be quite colourful surprise surprise but have like a bit of a youthful youthful look you know like white and baby blue maybe or we could go in our brats era in fact before I do that let me just I'm gonna put some tights on like maybe grey tights and then I think white boots would be good or maybe baby blue boots actually to match our jumper or our hoodie 
And then I think maybe with a white skirt, although I don't know, a bit clashy with the tights actually. No, I'm not sure about it. Maybe, maybe a denim skirt. And then maybe like some earmuffs. Do we even have earmuffs? Oh, we don't have earmuffs. Are there any other hairstyles we could go with? That could work. Well, it's better than walking around in your bra. Congratulations, you've just been makeovered. And you know what? I feel like I've done enough good in my save file for today. Maybe I'll revisit this idea. I mean, if anything, paying attention to what my townies look like has taught me that there is still plenty of work to be done. Especially this guy. But there's only so many hours in a day. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see this again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.